Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours. My name is Rochelle Emerson. Uh, thoughts for today. Whatever happened to terrorism? Before colds on steroids, uh, you know, shut us all down, um, we used to hear about somebody somewhere with a strap on taken out a cafe somewhere, and it was just rampant, rampant, rampant. Um, what's up with that? All right, now we got the the thought of the day out of the way. Um, we're going to take a look at a couple funny videos, lighten lighten the mood, and uh, this is this is funny. <laughs> I thought this one was funny. <laughs> oh, man. All right, are we ready to dive into some uh, politics here? Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty good. Um Maybe we'll start hearing some fallout from this, like, oh, you know, how he's, uh, Trump with women. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. This is awesome. Several days later. A new ABC News Washington Post poll suggests former <laughs> President Trump has a stronger than ever lead over President Biden, 51 to 42 percent in a hypothetical head to head 2024 matchup. So let's go ahead and bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein. Good morning to you, Rick. So good to see you there. Uh, so the big question to see you there. Uh, so the big question right now is President Biden in trouble? Gio, these numbers are really rough across the board for President Biden, across a range of issue areas. Uh, and on that big number, 5142, I should note, that is well outside of what we've seen in other recent polls. This poll is an outlier. Other recent polls, uh, our partners at 538 have done an analysis that have it more like a one or two point race. But whether you think this is going to be uh, a couple of points in either direction, you have to recognize that right now the country is frustrated. Looking inside this poll, the perceptions of the economy are just plain bad. Right now, we have about 30 percent of the country only saying that they approve of, of the way that uh, the, 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 the president. Is. It's just plain bad. <clears throat> Couldn't you use a better terminology? <laughs> it's just plain bad. Oh, you know, average folks are having a hard time buying groceries. Gas is. My gas driving my kid to school every day. Coming back, back and forth. I mean, my gas has quadrupled, it seems like, since, since under, I mean, at least the past year. It's just been ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This handling the economy, vast disapproval, and almost a, a, a majority of the country saying they're actually worse off than they were at the beginning of the Biden presidency. That's extremely hard to come back from. So, look, no one. I mean, are you guys worse off, better off under this administration? I don't think it takes a rocket science to uh, figure this out. I mean, everybody has a budget. I mean, we wish the government would uh, budget their money like families do because we have to. Why are we not holding them accountable for the budget? And why don't we know? I guess we could, yeah. I remember Fox a while back uh, put up a whole bunch of stuff on how much money we're spending, we're sending everywhere. I need to, I need to find that. So, I mean, we want to know where every dime goes, and we certainly don't want it to go to Ukraine when you've got Hawaii just devastated. But no, we're going to give you seven hundred bucks. Be on your way. But, oh my gosh, 
Ukraine needs more money. They need more money. Oh my God, they need more money. But you got the homeless in California. You got homeless in, I mean, all parts of California, San Francisco, L.A., uh, Oakland. Um, you got Boston. Y you've got, uh, what, Pennsylvania. Um, all of these places are just insane, insane, insane that we need help. But it's the liberal policies that are causing these problems in these other states. So I don't know if throwing money at the problem is going to fix it. What's going to fix it is maybe these states need to change the way they're voting. I mean, hmm. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but it didn't... It, it's pretty obvious. When you've got other states like Florida, Tennessee, the, these other states that are doing really well under conservative leadership, whether you're Republican or Democrat, do, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is the policies they set. Liberalism used to be something for the working guy, right? But not anymore. I mean, it's just so corrupt. I don't understand it. If somebody can help me understand this, how California has been destroyed, we'll just take California. We know we know other states are, are having issues. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you've got California for decades. Now, I used to live in California years ago. Um, they did have a Republican, uh, Wilson, I believe was his name. This I'm showing my age now. Um, I don't live in California anymore. I've, I've been gone for a, a, at least a good 20 years, but uh, I was out there for a few years. I believe his name was Wilson. And at the time, I'm in my, I'm in my early 20s, and there was a bill he was trying to pass, and uh, I wasn't real savvy at the time. I'm young. I'm in my 20s. I'm stupid, right? We were all dumb in our 20s. But anyway, I'm kind of paying attention. I'm getting an idea of what's going on. Uh, he's trying to pass a bill of, they called it Anchor Babies. Um, obviously, it didn't pass because we still have this today. But at the time, I'm watching the local news and stuff like that. They're showing just people flooding across, showing pregnant women just walking across. You know, they probably do any day. And, and look, this, this was 20, 25 years ago, whatever it was. So, um, obviously, he wasn't reelected. His policies just weren't no good. So they keep they keep reelecting these these Democrats in California across the board. Uh, there's no balance. I mean, may, maybe we need to have a check and balance for states. I don't know. The government does. We have the House, the Senate, the presidency. They are all check and balances. Yeah, some of them can usually dominate the other at one time or another but most of the time it seems like the american people there's a there's a balance so they they can check and balance uh you know when they're trying to pass laws and all the all of this stuff but look there's no checks and balances they're just running these policies in the ground in california now we're the you know this video is talking about the presidential race, but look, I mean, even even the states itself, states like California, why are they not being tarred and feathered and run out of town? I mean, literally run out of town. I I I would love to turn on the news and see the people in California. Uh, you know, it, like you used to see in the movies where they got pitchforks and a bucket of tar and feather and they're going to run these guys out of town because they've had enough. Now, I'm not advocating violence. Don't misunderstand. I'm just being funny. But the thing is, y'all get the, get the idea where, you know, the, you need to stand up. How, how do we do that? How do they do that? What do you do? You know, does somebody has to just stand up and go, okay, we need to do uh, a whole state rally? 
somewhere, you know, let the let them know we're done with this. I mean, you see little rallies that, you know, they're upset. The parents are upset about the liberal agendas that are placed upon the schools. But look, uh, we need more of it. It need, it need, I mean, every day, they need to be hammering this home. They need to be hammering this home. We, they need to be saying, we're done. Now, again, I do not live in California, but hey, it's part of the United States. We should all care about what's going on in California. And Californians, you, you need to step up to the plate. Step up to the plate. We need to back, you guys need to back some candidates with some conservative views. And, and look, again, it doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat. They need to change these laws. These laws on crime, just smacking them on the wrist and letting them go. Uh, we've all seen what's going on in San Francisco. All those businesses are closed. Maybe I'll throw up a video here shortly um, of businesses being closed down because of crime and because of the homelessness. They want to set up shops, set up their tents right in front of these people's businesses. I mean, who wants to go shopping down there? They're all being closed up. And San Francisco is a beautiful city. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it is a shame. And I don't even know, I haven't even looked at the stats, right? But I can't, I need, I need to go check it out, right? But how much tourist dollars have they lost because nobody wants to go there? You know, thinks this is going to be a nine or ten point race, but uh, I think there's a lot of alarm bells sounding in Democratic circles this morning. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! All right, here's my man, black conservative. That the mainstream liberal media, the Democrat strategists, the Democrat Party, the liberals, they're not going to like it, right? They're not going to like it. They're going to hate this poll right here. <laughs> they're okay? going to hate it. Because this poll right here is stunning. It truly yeah, it is. Really it really is. is. A you guys need to check out uh, Black Conservative Perspective. I mean, I found this guy a couple of months ago, and I'm telling you, he's pumping out videos like nobody's business a couple times a day, several times a day, and he's nailing it. He is nailing it. Please go like, subscribe, support his channel. I mean, he's doing the work. He's laying it down. He's, he's doing a... A phenomenal, phenomenal job bringing a lot of this stuff to the light. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome stuff. Please check that out. Here we go. Democrat strategists, the Democrat Party, the liberals, they're not going to like it, right? They're not going to like they're it. They're going to hate, hate this poll right here, okay? Because this poll right here is stunning. It truly is. It is a shock poll that shows... President Trump beating Biden by double digits in a... And it's an ABC poll. I bet they were just cringing and they hated every minute of it. You guys know the media is so biased and left wing. And it's a shame. It's a shame. You know, when I was young... Yeah. When I was young. <laughs> I remember uh, we had gotten cable... Right. And my parents, they discovered CNN and they just did nothing but watch it. <clears throat> and then when I was grown, um, I called my parents. I'm like, uh, Mom, y'all, y'all checked out. Uh, and obviously, this was when actually this was when Fox pretty much just came out right, right at that time period. You know, boom, here's Fox News alternative to CNN. And I was calling mom, mom, have y'all checked out Fox News? She's like, well, what is that? And I hear her talking to my dad in the background. It's so funny. I was like, well, you know, because there was Bill O'Reilly and stuff like that. And we all know the troubles Bill O'Reilly had. But anyway, um, Bill O'Reilly was pretty good. I mean, you know, back then when they first started out, yeah, it, 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 was, it was an alternative news source for conservatives. To, to have another viewpoint. But hey, what, and, and my mom's like, oh, well, let me write that down, Dad. <laughs> she called my father Dad. It was so funny. But, you know, they got together. And then I basically, I got them watching Fox News years ago. 
But uh, what changed my mind, even for Fox, is I discovered Rush Limbaugh. So, I mean, there might be some haters out there on Rush, but I, I loved Rush. I miss him, like, immensely. But um, he was amazing. So I started listening to Rush. Right. And I, I had the, the whole... Um, sign up where I could watch him on the computer, watch his live shows while he's in the studio. It was pretty awesome. Um, started listening to him on a regular basis, and all of a sudden, I didn't want to watch Fox News anymore. I didn't want to watch any news anymore. I, I don't know about you guys. Uh, what other news sources that, uh, l- let me know in the comments, some of you, where, where are you getting your news sources? Wh- what do you trust? Or can you trust anything? Or trust nothing. I mean, th- th- this is what we're talking about. And, you know, obviously Rush passed away. God rest his soul. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, so, we have to dig. You have to dig. You have to find. And, it, and it's frustrating to find an outlet that you can be comfortable with and trust. Because that that's the whole thing, man, is 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 the trusting aspect of, of this. Let's see. Let's see what my man has to say. A ABC Washington Post poll. Okay, so this is ABC Washington Post, a liberal media poll. Okay, and in this poll, Trump is crushing Biden, crushing him, fifty-two to forty-two, a ten-point jump. Okay, ten points. Also, if you look at this poll, among independents, Trump is up thirteen points. Again, what happened to all those people that claim that Trump can't win independence? Trump isn't electable in the general. Why are you running Trump? Yada, yada, yada. Again, I'm telling you, right? these people don't understand politics. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys why the polls are the way they are, just generally speaking. Okay. Well, a lot of these polls, some, they'll tell you they can't. A lot of them you can't trust. And, and some of them were a little inaccurate. But it does give you a general idea of the pulse of the country so whatever poll you guys are seem to be comfortable with just like we talked about what 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 are we comfortable with 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 uh with media what can we trust i mean we can be spoon-fed a whole bunch of stuff but what what are you going to trust who are you going to trust what are you going to do Right. I mean, it's 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 kind of tough when, you know, when you're trying to, to swim through the waters, the murky waters and, and you have this and you have that. You have people saying this and, you know, it's just it's just crazy. It's some crazy craziness. Trump with a nine point lead over President Biden in that poll and whatever caveats, whether that is an outlier that's a tough one to spin. The message may be out there, but they're not feeling it. Well, you, yeah, 13 million jobs created, lower prescription drug prices. You hear all of this great news, and then you go into the grocery store, and you try to, you, you're still in the aisle where they sell the vegetables and the fruit. You haven't even turned around to the meat, and already you've spent $70. They're not feeling it. Yeah, you can say a lot, as James Brown would say, talking loud and saying nothing. But at the end of the day, There's more than enough time to turn all of this bad weather around and go out there and make your case to the American people. Sarah, should they be paying? I don't know what kind of case they can make to this administration to the American people. This is... What? What can they say? We've been feeling the pinch since the moment he took office. Since the moment he took office, they just... Cut holes in the wall. Let the people flood over. We got homeless people all over this country of insane numbers. We've never, the likes we've never seen before. But we're going to let them just pour in, pour in, pour in. It's going to be okay. We're going to fast track them for for a work visa. Oh, they're going to get to work. What about all these other people that need a job? What about these these homeless people that are on drugs that need to be rehabilitated and get and get a job? How are they going to get a job if we got millions pouring over the border? I, I just don't know how this administration can uh, can come back from this. But let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.